The former president is expected, meantime, to return to our area for a campaign rally next month. Expected to be on the beach in Wildwood on May 11th. This is video from another rally back in 2020. Meanwhile, President Biden is focusing on Pennsylvania this week. And right now he is visiting his childhood hometown of Scranton, Pennsylvania. It's his first of three stops in the Keystone State. And tomorrow, Mr. Biden will head to Pittsburgh before stopping here in Philadelphia on Thursday. And the president's pitch today comes the day after tax day and looks to strike a contrast with his opponent. NBC 10's Lauren Make joins us now with more on this focus on our Keystone State. Yeah, if you think about it, guys, it is logical for both of these men to think that they can win okay. Pennsylvania because they both have before. Now, three days in a row in one state is notable for President Biden. Pennsylvania, though, is also more than just electoral votes. It is also personal. President Joe Biden today back in Scranton, back to his Pennsylvania roots and back in a state that could determine his stint at the White House again. In a speech this afternoon, Biden framing it as a choice between Scranton values and Mar-a-Lago values. You learn that telling people you're fired was something to laugh about. I guess that's how you look at the world when you're in Park Avenue or Mar-a-Lago. But if you grew up in a place like Scranton, nobody handed you anything. You paid your taxes. You made sure of being told your fired wasn't entertainment. It was a nightmare that people worried about. The stop in Scranton today, the first in a series of three Pennsylvania stops this week, in Pittsburgh tomorrow and Philadelphia Thursday. Tells you everything, Lauren, about Pennsylvania's importance uh, in the 2024 uh, presidential race. Christopher Boric is director of the Muhlenberg College Institute of Public Opinion. Scranton. Uh, Pittsburgh, uh, Philadelphia, which are also the three Democratic core areas of the state. If you look at uh, results, you look at historic patterns, uh, those are absolutely essential places for Democrats to do well in if they're going to win. Biden's tour through the swing state coming on the heels of a visit from his Republican opponent this weekend. Former President Donald Trump rallying supporters in the Lehigh Valley before heading to New York for his first criminal trial. The Lehigh Valley is, is one of the, the fastest growing areas in Pennsylvania. It's a consummate purple area, if you will. Um, Trump thinks he can make uh, inroads in some of these areas, like Lehigh County, where that event was, was held, uh, narrow Biden's gap from last time around. The two men going head to head again in a state both have won before. Trump in 2016, Biden in 2020. In the three and a half years since, Pennsylvania has seen some changes. The state lost about 0.3 percent of its population, and Democrats have lost some of their edge. There are about 396,000 more registered Democrats than Republicans in Pennsylvania. But in 2020, the gap was bigger, nearly 686,000. The median household income is up slightly since 2024, but the same percentage of Pennsylvanians, 11.8, live in poverty. This weekend, Trump talking about prices and telling the crowd in the Lehigh Valley. When I'm back in the White House, we will end Joe Biden's inflation train wreck and we will tell Pennsylvania, drill, baby, drill, get back to drilling. Biden today saying in Scranton. Folks, look, I want to cut tax on the hardworking folks here in Scranton and all across the country. Both making a pitch to Pennsylvania. The county Biden was in today is Lackawanna. Both Biden and Hillary Clinton won it in their races in 2016 and 2020, but Biden by a bigger margin, more than twice as big. I'm Lauren Make, NBC 10 News.